Welcome the Grand Chief and Deputy Chief of the Innu Nation, accompanied by elders and members of the Innu Nation. And I'm also pleased to welcome uh, ministers of the provincial government cabinet and government members of the House of Assembly. Please join me now in welcoming the Honorable Kathy Dunderdale, Premier of Newfoundland and Labrador, the Honorable Jerome Kennedy, Minister of Natural Resources, and Mr. Ed Martin, President and Chief Executive Officer of NALCOR. Good evening, everyone, and welcome. I would like to introduce the quintessential vocal ensemble under the direction of Susan Quinn to open tonight's event with the singing of the national anthem. Everyone rise, please. Thank you very much. Uh, welcome everyone to be here tonight for this uh, momentous occasion. Our government has a vision for the future of the province, a future filled with plenty of opportunity, a future characterized by energy independence, self-sufficiency, and economic sustainability. Tonight's announcement 
is a testament to our Premier's leadership, to her strength, to her determination and tenacity, and to her commitment to the people of Newfoundland and Labrador. Before I turn it over to Premier Dunderdale, I would like to acknowledge the presence of some special guests. To Honorable John C. Crosby, Lieutenant of Governor of Newfoundland and Labrador, and Her Honor, Mrs. Jane Fernald Crosby. Former Premier Danny Williams, Grand Chief of the Innu Nation, Cody Poker. Deputy Chief of the Innu Nation, Jeremy Andrew. The Honorable Dan Pottle, Minister of Finance and Human Resources, Nunatsivik Government. The Honorable Peter Panashwe, Minister of Intergovernmental Affairs and President of the Queen's Privy Council of Canada and Regional Minister for Newfoundland and Labrador. Senators. Former colleague Sean Skinner. Employees from the Premier's Office, the Department of Natural Resources and the Government of Newfoundland and Labrador. Ed Martin, President and CEO of Nalcor Energy. <laughs> Gilbert Bennett, Vice President of the Lower Churchill Project. Nalcor Energy's Board of Directors, Tom Cliff, Jerry Shortle, Aaron Breen, Terry Stiles, Ken Marshall, Al Hawkins, and Leo Abbas. Employees of Nalcor Energy and stakeholders from the province's business community. Without further ado, I will turn it over to Premier Dunderdale. Senators Manning and Doyle, Grand Chief Poker, and representatives of the Innu Nation, Minister Pottle, Mr. Martin, members of the Nalco Board of Directors, colleagues, and friends. Newfoundland and Labrador is a very special corner of the world. No one wants to leave, and for anyone who does, this place never leaves them. The rhythm of a majestic sea, the secrets of ancient rock, and the movement of our ever-changing sky all seem to call us home. The nature and geography of this place are so intricately woven into our culture, history, and tradition that they are as much a part of Newfoundlanders and Labradorians as our own heartbeat. The island and the big land hold our hearts and souls, no matter where we go. And that separates us from other Canadians. Newfoundlanders and Labradorians yearn for this place. Fortunately, a fundamental shift in our history has occurred in recent years, and we are no longer compelled to leave to provide for our families. Now our aspirations can be met here at home. And as of this day, we may never be forced to leave again. Thank you everyone for being here this evening as we mark what is to be a significant milestone in our progression as a province and more importantly as a people. Harnessing the vast hydroelectric power of the Lower Churchill is a promise that has been hovering on the horizon for 50 years but has remained just out of reach 
for successive governments of Newfoundland and Labrador. However, today, history is being made as we, together with our partners in Nova Scotia and the Innu Nation, set in motion a project whose impact will be felt for generations. Through an unprecedented link to the North American electricity grid, the Muskrat Falls project will unlock the potential of Newfoundland and Labrador's energy warehouse and help drive our economy for the next 100 years. It will provide stable, affordable electricity for our homes and our businesses. It will power industrial development, particularly in Labrador. It will open the door to further development of limitless renewable energy resources and make us energy self-sufficient. All are important benefits. All are significant. But the most important benefit of this development is that it allows us, as Newfoundlanders and Labradorians, to stand tall and proud on the national stage knowing that as our forebearers persevered to etch an existence on the edge of the North Atlantic, so will we, with unrelenting focus and steadfast determination, overcome all obstacles and transform challenges into success. Our experience in Confederation with, in Canada has included some challenges. The stigma of being the poorest province in the Union, the bitterness of the upper Churchill injustice, the resentment of a decimated fishery, and the anger at not having our voice heard within the Federation. However, today represents a significant change in our relationship with the federal government. We are now a full partner in the Federation of Canada. For, for the first time in a very long time, the legitimate aspirations of the people of this province have been heard considered and acknowledged as important. And I thank Prime Minister Harper for his leadership in recognizing the nation-building proportions of the Muskrat Falls project through a federal government loan guarantee. The Prime Minister's support demonstrates the kind of leadership the federal government can provide in nation-building energy projects such as this one. We are ready to be national leaders in energy generation, to produce sought after, renewable, environmentally friendly electricity for the hungry North American marketplace. We are ready to build on the prosperity of our non-renewable resources and multiply their benefits. Historically, our province has been challenged economically and socially, both before and after Confederation. However, in recent years, we have been moving towards a more promising and prosperous future. Today, we take a significant step in that journey and move completely from the shadows of Confederation into full and meaningful partnership as a regional leader in clean energy generation. We are reaping the benefits of seeds sown by our forebears as they struggled to eke out a living against unimaginable odds. From them, down through the generations, have come the characteristics that define us as Newfoundlanders and Labradorians. Optimism, tenacity, resourcefulness, work ethic, and a fierce pride in this place and its greatness. Today, we stand tall and proud on the shoulders of those who've come before us, knowing that we have not squandered their gifts, 
but invested them to give our children a brighter, more secure and prosperous future. Generations to come will look back on this decision as the dividing line between short-lived riches and sustainable, renewable wealth. No one understands the importance of sustainability and why stewardship better than the Aboriginal peoples who first inhabited this land. The benefits of Muskrat Falls are possible thanks to the grand partnerships we have achieved, achieved with the Aboriginal peoples of the big land. Partnerships nurtured through consultation, embodied in the new Don Agreement with the Innu Nation, and agreements that establish the Nunatsiavik government. We are honored to have representatives of both the Innu Nation and the Nunatsiavik government with us today. As we celebrate the power of cooperation, the rays of a new day are sweeping across the skies, promising a future of opportunity for young Labradorians and Newfoundlanders, a future of sustainability and respect for the environment we all share. Today, we stand strong, knowing that our ancestors have worked toward and envisioned a time when we, as a people, would see Newfoundland and Labrador come into the full measure of her greatness. We are the fortunate generation entrusted with the opportunity to make that a reality. Now, as never before, we are certain of a future with the promise of opportunity for all. Today, it is my pleasure and it is my honor as your premier and as a Newfoundlander and Labradorian to officially sanction the Muskrat Falls. <laughs> day, the line of sight is clear. Down through the generations of our children, their children and beyond, we will thrive in a province propelled to greatness by the strength and ingenuity of her people and the vast resources of her energy. We will continue to build productive relationships. We will continue to provide vision and leadership. And we will continue as a people to prosper and flourish. It all begins here. Thank you. I would now like to call on Robert Thompson, Clerk of the Executive Council, to read the official proclamation. Whereas the development of the hydropower resources of the Lower Churchill River at Muskrat Falls is a bold and visionary endeavor that fulfills the promise of harnessing an environmentally responsible, renewable, affordable, and sustainable source of power within Newfoundland and Labrador's vast energy warehouse to fuel a new and enduring era of growth and prosperity in our communities. And whereas the Muskrat Falls project demonstrates strong leadership in nation building by opening up an unprecedented east-west electricity transmission corridor in Canada to supply renewable energy, spur sustainable economic development, 
significantly reduce greenhouse gas emissions and advance provincial cooperation in ways that set a powerful example for all partners in the Federation. And whereas the Muskrat Falls project empowers Newfoundland and Labrador to take a monumental stride forward to sustainable self-reliance by securing our economy and the prosperity of successive generations of Newfoundlanders and Labradorians on renewable energy resources owned and controlled by the people of the province. Now therefore, on the 17th day of December 2012, I do hereby proclaim with confidence and pride the sanctioning of the development of the hydropower resources of Muskrat Falls, signed by the Honorable Kathy Dunderdale, Premier of Newfoundland and Labrador. Yeah. Okay, everyone, if I could have your attention, what a day for Newfoundland and Labrador. <laughs> Our people have never been more confident. Our economy has never been more vibrant. Our opportunities have never been greater. Today represents a historic moment for our province and all Newfoundlanders and Labradorians. Thank you for being here today, and I encourage everyone to join us for a uh, reception after the singing of the Ode to Newfoundland. And I now call on Victoria Windsor from the beautiful district of Carabineer Harbour Grace uh, <laughs> to sing the Ode to Newfoundland. Hopefully everyone will join in. <laughs> 